What's up, the keys, and welcome back to some more episode. And let's actually just get into it. I don't have no time to talking. Noah is back. I'm um, a lot of you guys keep saying, "Please be with Noah, please, please." And some of y'all saying, "Liam, Liam, Liam." So you guys making this really hard for me. I understand that you know Noah was her first love and stuff, but you know we gotta see if that's what Maddie wants. So let's actually start. Um, get into the episode this is the, actually the last episode the finale i'm actually happy that i'm completing this because i am struggling on jump force and tomb raider to complete and this is the fastest one i ever completed so you know because this came out before them but it's okay so i don't even know if i'm going to complete tomb raider and jump force on my channel but i'll try i'll try my hardest because i am trying to think of some new ideas on this channel and doing some different things because i already downloaded some pc games that i am actually going to make videos of this is the last episode video for right now i think i'm going to continue more episode maybe next month because i do have a lot of series to actually make more content on okay so crash i can't really do it on crash i actually have to beat that uh race to actually um get to the next portion of the game okay oh why didn't you okay uh part 15 the honeymooners all right so i actually do miss noah you guys know i miss him oh he's mad oh gosh oh gosh that's right betty i love you and if you're going to marry anyone, it should be me. Pick me, Betty, and I pick you every day. Whoa! Oh, Liam, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to... Oh, gosh. Oh, Austin, whoa! Ethan's mad as well. Why are you mad? Oh, he's mad because he, um... Isabel <laughs> and Viper, this is... Your wedding? You think? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry everyone, wrong, wrong wedding. I guess it's true what they say. Love is, love really is blind. I still meant every word. Just not for the bride. Oh gosh. Oh gee, what do I even say to all that? I'm so happy you're back. Um, could we talk after the ceremony? How dare you ruin Isabel's wedding? Woo, what do I say? I'm gonna say I'm happy that he's back. I missed you so much. Oh shit. Oh gosh, you have no idea what I've been going through, Betty. There's so much I have to tell you. There's so much I'm dying to do and hey, wise guy, what do you think this is? An audition for Amer America's Biggest Idiots? We got 10 more weddings tonight, so sit down and shut up. Calm down, Elvis. It's my wedding being interrupted and, it, it, and I say it's fine. This is important. Go ahead, Betty. Do what you need to do. Viper and I aren't going anywhere. Oh gosh, you are saying? I really want to get this right, Betty. That's why I rehearsed it all the way here. But now I'm that I'm in front of you, I can barely remember my name. Oh gosh. Whew. <sighs> Gotta take a sip real quick, you know? Um, so I'm just gonna speak from the heart. From the moment I left, I couldn't stop thinking about you. Then why don't you just turn around? Just turn around, Noah, just turn around. That's all you have to do, bro. Just turn around. Seriously, everything reminded me of you. We drove past a field of flowers. I remember that night I kissed you backstage, then brought you a flower to apologize for freaking out about it. And every time Teddy was reading a magazine on the bus, even if it wasn't love life, I thought about you. And then we stayed at a hotel with a giant unicorn statue in the lobby. This five-star place with all the room service we can ask for. And all I could think about was the night we met. How you showed me those pictures on your phone to cheer me up. How cute you look in that unicorn costume. And how gorgeous you were in my bed. <sighs> Betty, since I left. I've kept a receipt from that date we went on to that fancy restaurant and when I look at it, it almost makes me cry because I miss you so much. I kept up with all your social media even though it hurt, I couldn't help it. And when I saw your Gatsby article blow, blow up, I was so happy for you. I wanted to call you but I was scared. You should have still called me. I don't care if you're scared, let me know that you're still thinking about me. 
Alright y'all, I have to put my kitty earphones for this. Gotta put it on because I I I kinda look cute with these on. <laughs> I gotta put them on for this moment because this is how I first met him, right? That hearing your voice will make it that much harder. Or how it would feel if you moved on. When I was realizing that, I couldn't, no matter how hard I tried. And then one day, I was up on stage singing our song and it hit me. There's a reason I couldn't move on. A reason that being away from you hurt worse than anything I felt before. I'm in love with you. And nothing is more important than that. I had to get back to you. But when I called, when I called Brandon to ask him to help me surprise you, he told me you were in Vegas for a wedding. So I came right here instead. But when I checked into the hotel, I found out the honeymoon suite was under your name. And I assumed that meant you were, you were the one getting married. Which brings me here, interrupted someone's wedding to tell you. I'm deeply woolly and, and rig, <laughs> I don't know, in love with you, baddie. Why can't they just make these words not so hard for me? Like, gosh, I never even heard of that. Oh, Liam, my, oh. Mmm. Well? Oh! Y'all, me and Liam, we wasn't, we're not really officially together. It was just like a one night stand kind of thing, you know? Um... But I don't even know if that was a dream when Noah said he wanted to be my girlfriend. Because I remember when he said that. And I think I said yes. But I don't even know if that was a dream. Because nobody said anything about us being in a relationship. Like being a boyfriend, nothing. Boyfriend, girlfriend, nothing. So I was confused. Like was that a dream that Betty had or what? So right now, I know Betty is like she still cares about Noah that's her first but not it's not really her first love because she actually had a thing with Ethan before Noah if you guys remember the first episode or the second part uh, she actually did really like Ethan a lot when she first saw him but now it's Noah like I know Ethan's way out of the picture now cuz that dude is not, he is not even a person to worry about anymore so they have three options you guys one is I love you too wow can we talk after the ceremony or leap into his arms and kiss him already what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go with the third choice okay I'm sorry Liam I'm sorry ah oh my god his face Oh, he's tearing up. I love you, baddie. Say it back. Kiss him again. Oh, I love you too, Noah. Oh, gosh. Oh. This is what I've been waiting for. I think I should have said Noah's name at the amusement park. Liam, I am so sorry. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at you YouTube. I don't know why, just looking at Viper just made me laugh. May countless blessings be showed upon you and your divine love. But if you don't mind, I am more than ready to kiss my beautiful bride. Oh, she's sorry. Yes, let's get back to it. Yes, sorry is. I find you at the reception. Oh, look at Liam. Wow, that was amazing. I can't believe he's here. Really? That, then you weren't paying attention, babe. You and Noah have been on a collusion course since night one. It's like written in the stars. She's right. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying to these two hunks of burning love, never have I seen two individu in individuals as in love as Viper and Isabel. Oh, gee, poor Liam. That must have really hurt him. What should I do? Mouth sorry, look away, give him an encouraging smile. <laughs> you think giving him a smile will make him even more like you know oh he got cheer up baddie this is your uh just say that oh i don't know just say that you're sorry oh well that's not super convincing oh gosh so now basically i have two dates whoops Noah's making eyes at me, but Liam's my date. I should keep contact with Noah. Look at Liam instead. <sighs> I'm doing what's best for Batty. Oh, gosh. 
Oh, this is perfect. Do you Viper? Really? No last name? What? Really? Just Viper. Do you take Isabel May Chang to be your little mama? To have it to hold from this day forward through jackpots, jackpots, and jack... Through jackpots and bankruptcies, through nights out on the Vegas Strip and the hangovers the morning after, for a better, worse, richer, or poorer through sickness and health, until death do you part. Gosh, that dude is saying too much. Jesus. Anyways, until death and after in every life that follows, I do. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I see. Aww. That was cute. Okay. Okay, I s oh, Sydney. Oh, gee, is Zoe I flirting with Sydney? And Sydney is flirting back? Yeah, I kind of knew that. And Isabel, do you take Viper too? Yes, I haven't finished. Do you take Vi Yes, 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 I do, Viper. Yes, like, can he cut the whole thing? He, like, he took forever. Jeez, aww. Well, in that case, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Go ahead and kiss your bride. Why is he dancing in the background? <laughs> it's just so awkward. <laughs> that was cute. Oh my gosh. Now let's party. Oh gosh. I have 20 diamonds, so I'm about to spend it on whatever. It has to do with Noah, maybe. Betty, about what you saw. Oh god, she's talking about her and Sydney. So he's seriously so Sydney, your your love is your business. I'm happy for you. If you're happy, I'm happy, Zoe. Yeah, I'm actually happy. That's what matters to me. Well, I am happy, really happy. Okay, perfect. If only my love life was as simple. This is going to be one interesting reception. Oh, gosh. Tell me about it. Betty, that's, that's, that's my fault. I blame myself. I'm sorry. You could have just been with Noah this whole time, so you didn't have to worry about Liam. But I don't know what made me want him so bad <laughs> oh gosh he's looking at me he's texting me actually buzz buzz noah hey you saving a dance for me i hope of course you have to earn it maybe later of course betty just say when buzz buzz when wow he, he literally just said it okay betty can we talk maybe while we dance of course, you're my date. Let's go dance. Dang it, did you see the way he walked up to her? She, He was mad. Wow, he seems really upset. Maybe I should break the ice by asking how he's doing, cracking a joke, apologizing. Let's apologize. I'm sorry about all of this. I know this isn't how either of us pictured this day, and... Liam, I... No, Batty, wait. What? There's something I have to say. Batty, I, I know this has been a surprising day for you, and I never want to make anything harder for you. But you know how I feel about you. Seriously, another love confession? What is my life? <laughs> i never known anyone like you, Batty. With my father ended up everything at love life. You fought for what you believed in. You, you had everything to lose, and you still tried to save the magazine. As soon as we started talking about talking about me, I knew I had to know you. Every single thing about you. It felt somehow I known you for years and yet like I never get to try out finding out more and then there was a day we worked on that article when I showed you my life as Gatsby when you got right onto the stage as to speak easy and join the dancers it was such a perfect day I was in all of you baddie I still am I think I've always been even if you moved on man Liam but we fit together Betty like no one ever has I never met someone who felt so much like home to me. I want you, now and always, and it's killing me not knowing if we're really over. Either way, I just have to know. Is this all in my head? See you at, I, I, I see you as a friend, still have serious feelings for you. I am so over you. Woo! That's kind of harsh. But I see you as a friend. I'm sorry, Liam. You're great, but I'm just not there with you. I'm really sorry. I understand. You can't make yourself feel something that isn't there. You deserve to be with someone you're crazy about. It makes you happier than you've ever been. And knowing that's not me, I guess it makes it a little easier. Thanks, Liam, for being so great. You deserve that, too. <sighs> 
Hey man, mind if I borrow, borrow Batty for a day? Oh my gosh. That's completely up to Batty. I don't want to talk to you. I don't. I probably won't get another shot to dance with Austin. <sighs> Fine, Austin, I guess. <laughs> I'd love to dance with you, Austin. We'll talk more later? I hope so. Hug a bike kiss on the cheek. Just give him a hug. Just give him a hug. That's what he deserves. He's still depressed. Please don't be Ethan next. Oh gosh. Judge her for what I just watched go down between you and Liam. I know this isn't the ideal timing, but I haven't got gotten where I am live by playing it safe. What? There are things I need to say to you, Batty, before I miss my shots. Gosh! Oh gee, another one? What is going on? What like literally Austin was barely in this whole thing as Austin was barely in the show and now he's about to confess his love to me man I go after what I want Batty and I want you okay on your very first day at love life I knew there was something special about you but I didn't see no connection between us you fought for your love life when you didn't have to you stuck around and put the effort that is the kind of person I want to be with, Batty, a fighter. In every single moment we spend together, these feelings have just been growing and growing. I got it bad for you, Batty. And I know this little speech isn't quite as dramatic as interrupting a wedding, but my feelings are real. With you, I feel unstoppable. You could challenge me and inspire me and also drive me a little bit crazy. We bring out the best in each other. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make this work. Because that's the kind of person I am when something matters to me. What? Betty, you're making me a little nervous here. Oh um, gee, I better say something. Uh, I want to uh, put this fire out once and for all. Let him... Let's let him down easy. Like, I... Austin, you're amazing in so many ways. Oh, he's like, uh-huh. But I just don't feel that way about you. Exact. I'm sorry. I would never want to hurt you. You're an amazing friend, but that's it. Just a friend. I'm sorry, Austin. I get it. But hey, you never know if you don't try, right? Definitely. And I know if you keep trying, it's only a matter of time until you meet the right person. Thanks, Batty. That means a lot. Oh. Hey, mind if I cut in? Sure, as long as this came with Batty. Oh God. Hmm. This might be my last chance to dance with Ethan. Might as well. Gosh, why is everybody trying to dance with me? This is weird. Sure, Ethan, I'll dance with you. I'll find you later? Sure. I gave him a hug. Gosh. I'm not about to kiss him. I have no connection with this guy. <sighs> I got three dudes. Three dudes. <laughs> I only want one. Look, Betty, I heard everything Noah said at the wedding. And I heard what she said. Yes, I love him, okay? And all I want is for you to be happy. It's, if that's with Noah, I can live with it. But only if I know I've done everything I can. Only if, if I know I've been honest with you about how I feel. I still have feelings for you. Okay, we get it. <laughs> Nothing has changed for me. Since the day we met, a part of me has been waiting to finally be with you. I've been falling for you since the very beginning. You are one of those, Ethan. How are you going to fall in love with me when you were still with Sydney? There. <laughs> there have just been so many moments, so many tiny ways I, I've fallen for you. And when you told me the truth about Sydney and Daniel, I realized I could trust you like I never trusted anyone. And I do. You're everything I want in a person. Or you're just a person that I want. I don't want anyone else, even if on paper they're just like you. And I'll fight for you, Batty, if that's what you want. But I don't want to fight for you if I don't stand a chance. So please be honest. Tell me once and for all. Do you feel for me even a fraction of what I feel for you? Keep Ethan in the running. Put he's in the friend zone. Kick, oh gosh. Kick him to the curb. Dang. That's kind of kind of harsh. Um, I'm going to put you in the friend zone. I'm sorry, Ethan. Yes, Ethan. Bye. We have so much history. But I just don't see you that way. Can we still be friends? Like I said, Betty, all I want... Is for you to be happy of course we could still be friends good because I can't imagine my life without you which means it's a perfect time for me to cut in and claim the dance you were saving for me sorry E shall we thanks for dancing with me Ethan of course and good to see you Noah 
You too, man. Let's catch up later. Dang. Dang. Oh, Liam's right there. This is so romantic. Kind of weird. This is romantic. I can't believe you're really here. I spent the last few weeks dreaming about this. Now, I'm having a hard time believing I'm really awake. Oh gosh, Betty, when I saw your name on the honeymoon suite, I never felt that before. So, so heartbroken. In that moment, everything was clearer to me than it had ever been. I've been on the road long enough to know that I can live with you if I have to. And to know that I don't want to. I love you, but you are gone for a long time. That's facts. Which is why I have to ask you. Can you promise you won't leave again? Have you been with anyone else? Prove you're the one for me, Noah. Ooh. That's kind of... That's... Those are hard choices, to be honest. I I actually... I kind of want to know if he actually had a thing with somebody else. But I feel like he actually had it. Because he said once he knew that I was at this honeymoon suite. My name was on it. He rushed over here. So I guess he's not one of those. But... um can't really promise him not to leave again because he actually his dream is to be a little guitarist or have a band and go on tour and stuff like that so i can't break that but um i'm gonna say prove that you're the one because if not then i have to choose somebody else <laughs> tell me why i should choose you over anyone else why should i trust you to do the same i can't why not because I don't have the words to explain everything you make me feel. I tried that at the wedding, remember? Huh. I could try and try. I never come close. All I could do is show you. Man, a kiss is not enough, but okay. I let it slide. I love you, Betty. Those words fall so short of what I'm feeling, but that's the best I can do. Excuse me. Could we get the wedding party up here for a minute? What's going on? No, that was beautiful. I wish we could. Hey, it's okay. I'm back now. We can finish this conversation whenever. For now, Isabel needs you. He's right, but first, one last kiss for the road. Give him a peck on the cheek. Not that I can't keep Isabel. Just give, give him one last kiss, I guess. Okay. Okay. So first and foremost, we want to thank all of you for making this day absolutely perfect. Yay! We can we couldn't have done any of this without you. And especially not without my incredible maid of honor Betty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Deeply sincerely, we are honored to celebrate our love with you all. Oh, what? Okay, okay. And thank and to thank you, I have one last surprise. We actually well, actually two surprises, but one of those is for Isabel. Okay, what is it? The first surprise for my beautiful wife is that we're going to Bali for our honeymoon. Okay, that's nice. Okay, what's the second one? In a second, in a second surprise, babe. Ru, what? That's a symbol of my love for you. I got this tattoo. It's a swallow. Uh, it's a swallow. It's a represents adventure and beauty like you. Oh wow, he is. Oh gee, babe, it's amazing. He is the one for everybody. Goodness gracious. He could be baddies. Anyways, what a thoughtful surprise. That's not all. Today is so special. I want everyone to remember it forever. That's why I hired a tattoo artist to give free tattoos to anyone who wants them. Oh, okay, cool. As a thank you and a wedding favor. All right, should I get one? Baddie, Zoe, Ethan, Noah, get over there. Over here, emergency roomy meeting. Okay. What up, Liz? Is everything okay? Okay, okay. Everything's better than okay. I just had the best wedding that every, anyone's ever had. And now I'm getting matching tattoos with all my besties. You sure is? Tattoos are sort of permanent. We're soulmate friends, remember? If it weren't for all of you, especially you, Betty, I wouldn't have even met Viper. That's special, guys. We're already friends for life. Let's make it official, please. Come on, Iz. You know I'm in. That's the spirit. I could always use some more ink. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Why not? I'm into it. Betty, what do you say? You're my maid of honor and my favorite forever bestie, and it will make me so happy. You know, I, I do anything for you, Is, and it's not just because those tattoos are sick. Whew, I got 20 diamonds. You might as well. Let's do it. Let's do this. Come on, gang. This is happening. Oh my gosh, this is really happening. Y'all in for a market? 
for some tattoos, matching ones, as a symbol of our friendship. Best best friend tattoos. I like it. Any thoughts on what it should be? Betty, what do you think? I want something timeless yet perfectly us. Something that will make that will always make make me think of you guys. Fuck like a bird, a lace pen, a fancy skull, a lace I would go with a flock of birds because no matter where each of us might fly, we'll always come back to each other. OMG. I love that. <laughs> Isabel's right. It's perfect for us. I have to admit, that sounds pretty dope. Then what are we waiting for? Who's up first? I volunteer a as tribute. Of course. Of course. Oh, okay. That's cute. All right, we all got matching tattoos. You see us? Okay, I knew we, I knew we would look hot with tattoos, but somehow I'm still surprised how good we look. Is now that you're married, it's probably a good time to stop coming on to me and E. <laughs> okay. Oh, you wish. Honestly, I can't believe we didn't do this sooner. I love this tattoo. Right, just when I thought you couldn't get any hotter. Oh, look at Ethan. <laughs> e, let's go grab drinks for these ladies. I'm sure they parch after gri gritting their teeth through the pain of that. I think we all know the guys were the bigger babies about getting inked. Yeah, we knew that. Oh, she's so, that new tattoo looks amazing. Really? You like it? More like love. Oh, okay. I see you guys. I see y'all. Oh, is <laughs> okay. I usually pride myself as a very perspective perspective, but when did when the did this happen? Me, I don't even know. Um, I guess you've been pretty preoccupied with wedding planning, but now you know. Uh -huh. uh, well, I think it's great. You do. So all I want is all I want is for you to be happy. I am happy, really happy. Good, because I really have to pee, and I don't think I can hold it, it, hold it long enough to lay the smack down on Sydney. Oh gosh, Betty, you've been pretty quiet. Are you cool with this? I'm so happy I'm full of support of this. Don't you dare hurt us, Sydney. I'm full of support. I can tell how happy you make Zoe, Sydney, and that's enough for me to want to put the past behind us. Really? Oh, gee, thank you, Betty. That's all I want, too. I'm so sorry for the way I treated you. I'd take it back if I could. I was in a really dark place, but I know that's no excuse. I just want to start over and show you the real me, Betty. Wow, it's been, I don't know, 14 episodes since that happened? I like that. Okay, cool. Well, now that's my relationship drama settled, what about yours? It looks like things were getting pretty tense on the dance floor earlier. Yeah, no kidding. First, Noah confessed his love to me, and I realized I felt the same way. And then Liam, my actual wedding date, and I had a talk about our relationship, and things got real. He wanted something romantic between us, and I asked him if we could just be friends. As if that weren't enough, Austin came out of the woodwork and basically told me he wanted us to be a New York power couple. It was so awkward telling him, I'm just not there with him. And for the grand finale, Ethan admits he still loves me, and I had to tell him I don't see him like that. Wow, all that happened on the dance floor? And then some. What are you gonna do? Follow my heart, I know who to choose, flee the country. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> she was like, I might as well just leave. But she had to follow her heart, and she knows who it is. There is one person I could see myself with. Really, who? Oh, gee, I love this song. We have to go dance. Oh, gosh, never mind. Have you seen Isabel? The maker toss is right after this song and no one can find her. I'm on it, Angie. Oh my gosh, is she pregnant? She's pregnant. Isabel, are you in here? Betty, thank God, get in here. She's pregnant. Um, what are we doing in here, Is? It's time for your banquet toss. That can wait. Since when? You were so excited for the banquet toss, remember? You said it would it would make you the most make you feel like a queen tossing crumbs to your subjects well that was before this <laughs> i knew it oh gee is you're pregnant are you okay i'm gonna be an aunt are you okay uh this is a lot to take in especially on our wedding day on your wedding day she's mad oh gee i'm married and 
and pregnant. Betty, I'm gonna be a mama. Oh, she's happy about it. Oh God, I thought she was gonna be mad. Oh, I can't believe this. I mean, I've had been suspicious ever since I threw up on the Ferris wheel on Coney Island. So when I saw their pregnancy test in the hotel gift shop, I couldn't resist. But I still never really thought this would happen. I'm gonna be a mama. That's incredible, is. Oh my gosh, she she's really pregnant. Does Viper know? No, but I can't wait to tell him. Although the bad news is, we'll be too busy planning to take the honeymoon now. Bummer, a belly would have been so cool. What? i glad you think so, because you're going instead. Me? Is I can't go on your honeymoon. I'm not even married. Girl, if anyone deserves a vacation, it's the M.O.H. who pulled this wedding off. Besides, last time I checked, you had four dudes who would kill to share a private cabina with you. Um, why don't you take the rest of the wedding to decide who you want to bring? I guess a long vacation would be good for me, especially with the men of my dreams. Good, then it's settled. Oh, I'd have to pay diamonds? Thank goodness. Now, can we please get out of the bathroom stall? Ew, yes, please. Now, remember, I want you to, I want you front and center at the banquet toss. And if you want to be the next to get married, then that means you have to catch it. Okay, let's do it. Oh, Viper? Wish me luck. I'm going to go tell Viper about the baby. Babe, you don't need luck. Thanks. Here goes nothing. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's happy. He's happy. Oh, thank goodness. I thought he's going to be mad. I thought he's like one of those people that doesn't want to have kids. All right, folks. It's time for that magical moment. The banquet toss. All right. Gather around, ladies, and may the best woman win. All right. Let's. Who, who's going to catch it? See, I'm going to catch it and move out the way. Stay, stay and catch it. Yes, that's my girl. I didn't even get to read it for you guys. Sorry. Anyways, cuties, this is the last dance of the night, so I better go find my husband. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Who should I spend my last dance with? Uh, Noah, hello? Yuri, why would I, what? Can I have this dance? Is that even a question? Dang, that's kind of messed up. They was all standing with each other. That's actually kind of weird. Oh, the next morning. Okay. This is it. Time for you to invite a guy to Bali. Do you know who you're going to pick? Yes. Once I thought about it, it was so obvious. I'm going to take Noah. It has to be Noah. There is no one else I can imagine going to Bali with. I so called that. You two have been heat since the beginning OMG you're going to have such an amazing time Betty we are so happy for you and this trip is going to be the change it's going to change your life I can't read because this is really happening yeah now we have to hope that is that hasn't oh gosh it's like I've been reading throughout this whole part you guys I'm so sorry yeah now we just have to hope that he hasn't changed his mind about me. Oh, please. You're the one who could change her mind. You don't have to be sure until the very last moment. But when Noah sees that, sees the hot dress I picked out for you to wear for the big invite, the only thing that will stop him from getting on that plane is heart attack from how hot you look. Don't tell me I gotta pay. It's, you're already giving me your honeymoon. You didn't have to give me a dress too. Go try it on. See if you still feel still feel that way. Okay. Oh, Betty! Oh my Lanta! Dang, Betty, that's the most perfect outfit for the most romantic moment of your life. You're right. I can't pay. Oh, what do you guys think? You look great. You always do. <laughs> but you, t but didn't you want today to be special? Uh. I, w I want to see, I want to really feel like myself, you know? I guess that makes sense. So, Betty, this is it. Viper's plane leaves for Valley in an hour. You're sure you know who you're going to bring? Yes. What's going on? What's going on? Hello? Wait, is Noah's going to be here? He's going to be here? Please tell me he's going to be here. That's Kingpin. This is it. The moment of truth. I'm pretty sure Noah is the right choice, but I'm, I am 100% positive. A part of me could picture my life with any of the, any one of these guys. Ethan and I will have so much fun. 
we, we would never run out of things to talk about and we spend all of our time kicking it at the spot with Zoe and Ish or chilling at home. I'm so comfortable around him. Noah makes me laugh like Noah. Why are they wearing half shirts? Do you guys notice this? I know we have a passionate, playful life. We worked on songs together, but spontaneous uh, hit up parties and shows. And we never run out of the heat and attraction. But there's, but then there's Austin, sexy, smart, driven. He's basically a manhead and Prince Charming. We conquer the magazine world together, and we we treat him, we treat, treat me like a princess all the while. I didn't. Uh, maybe it's because I didn't pay for those diamonds to actually stay with uh, Austin. Um, that one time I think I would see a connection with them, but I really didn't at all. And there's Liam. And last but not necessarily least, <laughs> there's Liam. Deep, beautiful, generous Liam. I never met anyone like him. We'd be just as likely to spend our weekends as glamorous fundraisers as we would be to hit up a secret club. And even though he's at, he's so at home in that world, there's also a huge part of him that's so refreshingly low-key and real. I know I can trust him with every part, every with every part of me. Um, I know what to do. Hey, lady, you're not getting, you're getting in or not? Yes, give me a second. I know who to invite. Why did you give me a second option? Are they really testing me? Man, text Noah. See if he wants to come or not. If not, then I choose Liam. Noah, thank you for following me here, and thank you for waiting while I got my head straight. You and I have been s been through so much, at, and at times I was so scared of how I felt about you. Oh my gosh, because I was so s I was scared you would disappear again. But I trust you now, Noah. Oh gosh, ah! And finally, I know what I want. It's you, only you. I love you, and I want to be with you. If you feel the same way, meet me at the private airfield for a big surprise. And sent. Gosh, this actually reminds me of uh, the Naruto, the last movie. Uh, oh my gosh. Him and Hinata. Naruto and Hinata, it was so beautiful. And when she said that, I like she knows who she wants to be with. And she said, it's you. I want to be with you. I just like pictured that same scene that Naruto said to Hinata at the end of the movie. It was so beautiful. When I watched it, I cried, you guys. And I finished Naruto, y'all. I don't want to finish. I'm on Barto right now, but I am so sad that I finished Naruto because it was so good. But I've been waiting for this Nara, Nara Hina, Nara Hina. I don't know what they call it for them, but I know it's like Nara Hina, something like that. But Naruto and Hinata moments for the longest. But we finally here. Okay. Oh my God. This reminds me a lot with Naruto and Hinata a little bit. He's 15 minutes late. What if he's not coming? Miss, I'm sorry to bug you again, but it looks like we're, we're expecting some bad weather and Captain Horace says we can't wait any longer. Okay, I understand. I guess it's, it just wasn't meant to be. Batty! Oh, hope you weren't missing me too badly. Traffic was terrible. Oh my god, leap into his arms, please. Oh my gosh. I really thought that was the wrong choice. So what's the big surprise? What are we doing here? Tell him, make make him beg for it. Crack a joke. Tell him. Well, since Iz and Viper can't go on their honeymoon, I thought we might go to Bali. That is, if you want to. Are you kidding me, Betty? I'll go anywhere with you, but Bali? That would be amazing. Okay, I see. I see. Oh, oh God, he made it. Ready to bore you two? After you. Ring ring. Okay, what else? What else? And come a call from Claudia. Let's answer it. I should probably take this. Why don't you meet me on the jet? Okay. Let's go. What? Claudia, is everything okay? It's more than okay, Betty. I read your article, the one about Gatsby. Phenomenal, phenomenal work. Not to mention the way you handled the hack, Daniel. You should be very proud of yourself, Betty. Um, thanks, Claudia, but why are you calling me? 
direct. I like it. Listen, Betty, I'm about to tell you it's confidential. Understand? Not even my not even my eat the noses news, and I prefer to keep it that way for now. Okay, I'm retiring, Betty, and Ellen's going to be taking care, taking over Wolf Media. Wow, that's so great. Ellen must be so happy. She's thrilled, though of course it leaves us in a bit of a pickle. We need someone to take over Love Life. And Betty, that someone is you. <gasps> what? No. Betty, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Good, I, because I need an answer. If it's yes, we need you to get to work right away. If it's as in tomorrow. Betty, you coming? Oh gosh. Wait, what? <laughs> That's it? That's it. Wow.